These are key concepts and a little bit of cooldown guidance for lesson six, the addition rule. So the addition rule is used to compute probabilities of compound events. When we talk about a compound event, we mean what is the probability of this or that happening? Two different things, and they don't have to both go together. Uh, so in this case, uh, what's the probability of either gray or medium? The way that the rule works is that we just find the probability of the first thing, add that to the probability of the second thing, and then take away the probability of both of those things. For example, student council sold 100 shirts that are either gray or blue, and in sizes medium and large. A student who bought a shirt is chosen at random. One way to find the probability that the student bought a shirt that is blue or medium is to begin with the probabilities for shirts sold in that color and size. The probability that the student bought a blue shirt is 0 0.7. Probability that they bought a medium shirt is 0 0.35. But we can't just add those together. What's happening if we just add those together, if we're adding the blue shirt to the medium shirt is, you can see right here, we have 15 students who got counted twice. So that's why what we have to do is we take the probability of the first thing, add the probability of the second thing, and then take away this of both of them. Because we can add these all together, and we can add all these together, this got double counted, and we're going to take one of them away. So, let's take a look at the cooldown. At a middle school science fair, all the science fair projects used mathematics, but only 30% of the projects display the mean or the median. 27% of all the science fair projects display the mean, and 16% of all the science fair projects display the median. So let's apply the addition rule. The probability of mean or median would be the probability of the mean plus the probability of the median minus the probability of both. So the probability of the mean is 27. Probability of the median is 16. Add those together, and then we would take away both. So use a Venn diagram to represent the percentage of, I don't know if I'm telling this correct, 